Ukraine uses AI and $600 drones to destroy heavily guarded Russian convoy in $1.3 billion bridge operation. Today, a single convoy crossing a river became the point where assumption met calculation and failed. What followed was not an explosion or a reckless strike, but a deliberate multi-layered operation where timing, artificial intelligence and low-cost systems dismantled one of Russia's most heavily protected logistics movements. Russian planners trusted steel, radar coverage and electronic warfare to guarantee safety. Ukraine demonstrated that protection built only upward leaves vulnerabilities below. This was not an assault from the sky or the shoreline. It was an operation constructed beneath expectations, beneath sensors and beneath the bridge itself. The collapse itself was triggered in under nine seconds once the execute signal hit, concentrating losses assessed at more than $1.3 billion. To understand how that happened, the sequence must be followed from the beginning. At 5.47 a.m., the Russian convoy began rolling onto the Dnipro bridge with full confidence. More than 300 military vehicles stretched across nearly five miles of roadway. The column carried ammunition stocks assessed to be sufficient for over 10,000 troops, including artillery shells, rockets, fuel, spare parts, and command equipment. Heavy transport trucks, fuel tankers, armored escorts, and mobile command vehicles advanced as a single coordinated mass. From a Russian operational perspective, the movement was routine and secure. Overhead protection was considered complete. A Pantsir S-1 short-range air defense system, valued at approximately $15 million, was positioned to counter low-altitude aerial threats. Further back, a Nebo-M long-range radar system worth nearly $120 million monitored the wider airspace for aircraft and missiles. Electronic warfare coverage was planned, but not yet fully activated. To Russian commanders, the convoy appeared shielded, invisible to meaningful attack, and untouchable. What they did not account for was that the primary threat was not above them. It was already beneath their wheels. Hidden along the steel ribs beneath the bridge deck, 12 Kajak Reboth FPV drones had been emplaced hours earlier. Each unit cost roughly $600 and was magnetically clamped to the girders in positions that mimicked abandoned maintenance hardware. Their motors were inactive. Their batteries were in low power preservation mode. To visual inspection, radar or routine thermal sweeps, they appeared as inert metal debris. Each drone required only a one millisecond encrypted wake-up signal to transition from dormant hardware into an autonomous weapon. As the convoy rolled overhead, engines roared and radios crackled with routine traffic. No Russian soldier looked down. Several minutes later, a Russian reconnaissance element positioned near the tree line beneath the bridge detected a faint, irregular electromagnetic pulse echoing through the bridge structure. The signal did not match known Ukrainian drone control profiles. Unsure whether it was interference, equipment malfunction, or environmental noise, the patrol leader ordered a basic verification. A soldier raised an AK-74M assault rifle, valued at approximately $1,000, and fired a short probing burst into a steel truss. Sparks scattered into the river below. Nothing else reacted. No alarm sounded. No movement followed. No return fire was detected. The team concluded the signal was likely metal resonance or aging reinforcement within the bridge. The anomaly was logged and dismissed. That assumption would not survive the next two minutes. Without warning, two Ukrainian decoy drones burst upward from the river surface. They climbed sharply through the morning mist, deliberately exposing themselves to draw attention. The sudden movement forced the Russian scouts to retreat while issuing rapid radio calls for clarification. A PKM machine gun valued at nearly $3,500 opened fire. Tracer rounds cut glowing arcs through the fog, but the drones maneuvered aggressively and vanished into low cloud cover without damage. Moments later, a different platform appeared, a militarized Mavic 3 thermal reconnaissance drone, assessed at roughly $12,000, swept in at low altitude. Its infrared camera recorded every reaction, scattered troop movement, overlapping radio transmissions, and muzzle flashes. 
One Russian soldier attempted to engage it using a GP-34 underbarrel grenade launcher attachment valued at about $900. The grenade detonated harmlessly in the air as the drone banked sharply, skimmed the river's surface, and disappeared behind a bridge pylon. The encounter felt brief and inconclusive. To the Russian unit, it appeared to be minor drone harassment. No sustained attack followed. No escalation was ordered. The patrol returned to its positions, confident the situation was contained. Dozens of miles away, Ukrainian command systems assessed the same encounter with a very different conclusion. An AI-driven monitoring platform analyzed the event in real time. No Russian air defense assets redeployed. No electronic warfare systems were activated downward. Infantry response patterns showed confusion rather than coordination. Most critically, no sensors were repositioned to scan beneath the bridge deck. The system flagged the site as effectively unwatched in the vertical dimension that mattered most. The investigation phase was cleared to proceed. Shortly afterward, Ukraine deployed a Silent 32 reconnaissance drone, valued at approximately $28K. Designed with low observable materials and minimal thermal output, the craft skimmed just inches above the river surface without disturbing water patterns. Its mission was not destruction, but measurement. Vibration probes activated as it approached the bridge, mapping oscillations across the structure. Every passing axle, every overloaded suspension, and every cluster of vehicles produced a unique vibration signature. The convoy's weight distribution, speed variations, and stress concentration points became fully transparent. The bridge itself was being read like an instrument panel. A Russian Spetsnaz fire team concealed near the shoreline detected a faint thermal smear. A VSS Vintores suppressed rifle, valued around $4K, fired several subsonic rounds towards the target. The Silent 32 reacted instantly, banking and slipping beneath a support beam. Recognizing the target's agility and non-standard profile, the team radioed for aerial reconnaissance support. Within minutes, an Orlin 10 reconnaissance drone, valued at approximately $100K, arrived overhead. It attempted to force the Silent 32 upward into open air, where small arms fire could engage. Ukraine anticipated this response. The Silent 32 deployed a compact optical illusion projector, valued at $3K, dispersing false thermal reflections across the river surface. The Orlin sensors failed to reconcile the conflicting inputs. Its autopilot corrected repeatedly, then entered a holding pattern. The Silent 32 completed its mapping run and withdrew undetected. The data proved sufficient to finalize strike geometry. Ukrainian AI systems calculated the resonant frequency of the central span, identified stress distortions within support columns, and confirmed the exact placement of ammunition trucks and fuel tankers clustered too tightly together. The projected success probability rose sharply. The bridge was not merely vulnerable. Under current load conditions, it was structurally primed. As the convoy advanced deeper onto the span, Russian electronic warfare crews attempted to reassert control. An RB-341 V Lear 3 jammer, valued at approximately $15 million, was activated aboard a command vehicle. The system flooded the spectrum with broad interference intended to expose hostile signals and disrupt drone control links. Instead, it triggered the next phase of the Ukrainian plan. Two Ukrainian micro-drones launched vertically from beneath the bridge deck, each carried an EMP capsule valued at $8K. They swept across the jammer's antenna array in a synchronized pass. The effect was immediate. Displays went dark. Power systems collapsed. The Lear 3 was disabled completely. Russian escorts responded with blind fire. An AGS-17 automatic grenade launcher, valued at nearly $5K, fired into the water below. Infantry squads followed with RPK-74 fire. No targets were hit. A secondary Russian vehicle activated a P-240 relay system valued at $2 million, attempting to restore encrypted communications. The system failed within seconds as interference surged from below the bridge deck itself. Thermal, optical, and laser sensors returned only distortion. The realization spread quickly along the convoy. All defensive systems were oriented in the wrong direction. 
By continuing onto the bridge at full weight, with ammunition trucks positioned at the center and fuel tankers stacked closely behind, the convoy had unknowingly placed itself exactly where Ukrainian algorithms predicted maximum damage. Prolonged overloading caused tire overheating on transport vehicles, speed dropped, and the column stalled at the midpoint. Panic followed. A Pantsir S-1 system switched to active search mode, sweeping aggressively for aerial threats. It detected a false contact generated by a $50 Ukrainian decoy drone. The operator fired. The explosion illuminated the underside of the bridge but struck nothing of value. Infantry units fired AK-12 volleys into the shadows. Commanders issued contradictory orders across jammed channels. Separately, a rear-positioned Russian S-400 air defense battery operating on degraded sensor data and not directly coordinating with the Pantsir units on the bridge launched a surface-to-air missile valued at approximately $3 million. The missile accelerated to hypersonic speed before diving toward a perceived target. A Ukrainian FPV drone deployed an AL-50 towed decoy valued at $27K, trailing on a fiber optic line. The decoy amplified the radar return dramatically. The missile locked on and detonated against the false target. The drone survived. A multi-million dollar interceptor was expended against a law. At that moment, the Ukrainian command issued the final directive. One unit had already been expended during earlier phases. Cell 1 aligned under the ammunition trucks. Cell 2 positioned beneath the fuel tankers. Cell 3 moved beneath key load-bearing columns near the command vehicles. At 7.09 a.m., the execute signal was transmitted. Each drone detonated a $1,000 shaped charge at precisely calculated impact points. A one second delay allowed shockwaves to merge within the confined space between the river and the bridge deck. Pressure exceeded 5,000 psi. Structural failure was immediate. The central span collapsed into the river below, carrying vehicles, cargo, and command assets with it. Total assessed Russian losses exceeded $1.3 billion, including air defense systems, electronic warfare platforms, vehicles, munitions, and infrastructure. As smoke drifted across the water, emergency crews worked to pull civilians away from debris and toxic fumes. The span failed, pulling vehicles, fuel, and munitions into the river with it. Ukraine achieved an operational outcome using systems that cost a fraction of what they confronted. As the river settled and silence returned, one question remained. In a war increasingly shaped by algorithms and inexpensive machines, who ultimately bears the cost when precision replaces presence? Share your thoughts in the comment section below.